um, today I'm going to talk about uh, mathematics. So let's see how you can have different uh, kinds of equations and inline math in uh, your LaTeX document. Uh, okay, let me begin a document here. I will make title so that I can see the title and author's name and everything. And after that, uh, so this is the equation for which you do not need any packages. Okay, so I will begin an equation. Um, do not forget to end whatever you begin in LaTeX. Otherwise, you will get errors, and that is really, really nerve-wracking. So, let me have a square root. Oh, yeah, let's say 5, and then let me have a 6, and then minus 1, yeah. Okay, I will make a PDF, and then I will take a look at my PDF. So you can see that my equation has been um, typed here and it is also numbered here. So as I mentioned before, whatever is numbered can be referred to in future. So I can give it a label. Uh, let me say, okay, equation SQRT and then uh, here I can refer to um, equation SQRT. So um, this is my way of labeling things. So if it's an, an equation, I will say EQ underline something. Um, if it's a section, I will say SEC underline something so that I, I, I can um, keep track of what I have made in my document. Because if you're writing a long document, then um, it is really challenging uh, to remember the names and labels and then refer to them. Okay. Um, so let me see here. Yeah, I can refer to equation one. Um, there is another way to refer to an equation as well. So uh, the other way to refer to the equation is to say I refer to EQREF. Here at the first line, I only used REF, REF, the same way that I, that, that I used to refer to sections, uh, subsections, and things like this. However, here I use EQREF. Um, before we see what the difference is in uh, your document, let me uh, tell you that for EQREF you have to use a package. Um, this use package. This package is AMS math. This is a very a useful and handy package uh, for mathematics and logic. Uh, you will need this for uh, other stuff that I'm going to show you in this document as well. So I will leave this here. Okay, now I make a PDF for my logic and then you will see this. So at first, that I only said I can refer to equation ref, you say you see I can refer to equation one. However, the second one that I used EQ ref, I refer to one. So you can see that um, this um, parentheses are also typed. Um, this is actually a better way, my idea, because um, a number has not popped out just, you know, um, in your document. So I usually use this one. There is another way to have an equation here, um, but without 
a number because maybe you have an equation that you don't really want to refer to in future um, so what you can do is to use a star here and then let me see what I can do zero just something simple and then I make a PDF here and yes you can see that uh, there's no number here this is very useful because sometimes you just want to mention something and you don't want to refer to it in future uh, so let's see also I just make some space here you don't really uh, need to do this I just want to have some space so that I know um, I'm beginning something new um, okay so also um, I can have some math inside my text um, so this means that this means that um, you don't have to have equations just in the middle of a new line you can have in uh, just inline math as well uh, for that I just need to use dollar signs and then the math will um, come up here so let's say x plus y equals 1 something simple and then I can see it here very simple okay um, so let me see here I want to make a section equations so let me have a subsection here EQ array this is very useful sometimes you have um, multiple equations which you want to show um, just after each other and uh, you don't want to have any uh, spaces between them so what you do is that you begin an EQ and array and oh I forgot to put N here uh, and after that you will for instance say okay so I have X equals 1 however here I use the and sign with the equal sign I will tell you what happens uh, if you don't in future okay then X plus 1 uh, equals 2 and then I will make a PDF let's have a look so x equals 1 x plus 1 equals 2 as you can see uh, all the parts which have been uh, put between two these two signs these and signs here um, are aligned uh, below each other so equal sign equal sign you could just go further and also each line is being numbered however you can do something else eq and array and uh, okay let me say x plus y equals 2 and then these double backslashes just uh, make a new line everywhere in your text or in this uh, array after that I want to say no number no number means that uh, let's see what happens uh, oops this one and then this okay let's see what happens here this means that I only need one number I have two lines but I don't need a number for each of these lines so I only need one and this is set here uh, of course I can have a label as well so EQ 
because it's still an equation. So I say eq of xy. And then I can refer to equation um, eq ref xy here. And then I would make a PDF. And you can see that I simply could refer to my equation here. However, however, if I refer to the equation above, then let's see what happens. Okay, I refer to equation uh, eq ref and oh let's put a label first here i will put a label eq uh, x i forgot to do that before okay let's see what happens because we had two numbers here so of course, the first number is being used. So the thing is that when you have uh, arrays of equations here, then you have different numbers, but it's, it's not really used because all of this is considered to be one equation. Also, I can have an EQ in array, but with a star sign again, and then let's say yeah y equals one and then x oops equals y so then let's say right arrow x equals one very complicated <laughs> okay i will make a pdf and here you can see that because i had the star sign no number was being used all right and also if you are looking for some you know some mathematics symbols you can come here at the structure part in tech maker so you can see different stuff here. Um, let's say subsection symbols. Um, I can use, because I'm, I'm going to do some mathematics here, I use dollar signs. I can use, oh, whatever, let's say lambda. say I don't know row here and then one and then I can also use the arrows long right arrow and then I can say lambda equals one over row or maybe a better way would be fraction one over row. You can easily find these symbols uh, here. Um, and then after a while, you will just get used to these. This is very easy to use. Yeah, that's it. And if you don't want this star sign here, you can say times. That will be cleaner and nicer. Yep, here. 